Well, I thought I would record this so that you could see that uh, it works. We have the uh, carriage loaded up. So we've got probably 60 gallons worth of water up there. We started this up a few minutes ago. And I have it running over here. And you can see the, the little magnet light is being energized. This is working pretty good. These tanks are filling up. Well, you can see this. This is acted upon by the water there that would be coming out of the hose and then from there it comes over to this small fan cage that has a aluminum rim and the aluminum rim then causes a flux in the magnet light just like it would if it was on a bicycle and we'll get some output Again, that's a fairly bright light. It's supposed to be about 90% efficient. And you can see most of the water is, uh, most of the water is flowing and dropping off. In other words, it's not splashing against the back side of, uh, of the casing there. So as long as it's dropping and falling without shooting out past the uh, little paddles, then you're getting a fit an efficient use of the water that's coming out. So I'll let this run. See if I can't get some timing off of it. Later. Hey everybody, well I finally set up something here inside my garage that will give a demonstration of how much light is being produced by this magnet light. Uh, I've got it hooked up to a small uh, motor and I'm running that off of a battery which is a 12 volt battery and uh, got the voltage set for the motor about 6 volts and it's running at about 1.3 amps so I'm going to let this run for a few minutes and uh, charge up charge up the magnet light it's normally Normally we have it going with the uh, speedometer cable hooked up to either a gear system or uh, possibly to the to the Pelton Pelton wheel over there, but it's usually outside, and it's hard to get any kind of uh, of a feel of how how much light you would actually be producing if you were able to bring that. Uh, bring that light into your uh, house so 
we're going to look at uh, look at the results here. See what we can get out of it. We won't run it too long. This little motor does heat up a little bit after several minutes. And I have a little stage set over here so that uh, you'll see the light reflected off of it. And a few odds and ends. Give you an idea of, of uh, how much light you have, what you can see. From about, well, I guess we're about six feet away. About seven feet. So about seven feet from the, from the light. So I'll, uh, let me set this down and kill the lights here in the garage and we'll see what kind of visual effect we have. Okay, well, there we go. You can see this is producing uh, quite a bit of light right out here in front of the uh, of the magnet light. Uh, it's pretty easy to read out here. I don't have any problem uh, reading something. The light is actually filling um, up most of this garage. You can see things across to the other side of the garage. You can see the garage door and back over to the side of us. Um, I'm afraid the camera the camera really doesn't give you that much of an indication, but it's it's really pretty bright in here. Certainly a, a lot brighter than I um, um, just a, one candle or so. Um, be easy to read. Be easy to uh, do some work if you needed to do some work. Real, real convenient to uh, to use. I don't think you can tell really just how bright it is, but I'll pan this around a little bit to let you see. You can see that goes all the way over to the garage door. That's uh, probably 10 feet. So that's that's really really putting out quite a bit of light. You might have uh, you might remember the uh, FR1 radio. I did a light test on it. Uh, let me show you what that looks like whenever it's turned on. It has three LEDs. Let me cover up this uh, magnet light. So there's the magnet light covered up. And uh, there's the FR1 radio. And you can see it's got a, a wider beam on it. And it's a different, a little different color. And it does, uh, it is a little bit brighter. But for comparative purposes, that's not too bad. That's the FR1. And... There's the uh, magnet light. So I'm really glad to be able to show this to you. I've been wanting you to see what, uh, what I've seen. It's very hard to see uh, the output on, a, on an object uh, outside. So here on the inside you can see uh, what I've seen. Let me pull this up and get a little bird's eye view from it almost hurts your eyes to look at.
Thanks a lot.